after Hitler If you think we're on the run We are the boys who will stop your little game We are the boys who will make you think again Cause who do you think you are giving Mr. Hitler If you think old England's done Mr. Brown goes off to town on the A21 But he comes home each evening and he's ready with his gun So who do you think you are giving Mr. Hitler Attention. I just received a new directive from JHQ regarding Nazi parachutists. I had to read it to you. There is a danger that the Home Guard might confuse British pilots and air crews who are bailing out with actual German parachute troops. Not that our chaps get shot down very often, but uh, this could happen. <laughs> <laughs> a good point to remember here is the fact that no British plane contains more than six men. So, if you see a bunch of parachutists floating down, you count them. <laughs> and if they're more than six, you shoot them in the air. Mr. Manreen? Yes. Yeah. If they're dressed as nuns, do we still count them? <laughs> count them however they're dressed. Oh. It isn't likely that a, a plane load of real nuns would be floating down in parachutes. <laughs> you can't be too sure, sir. I look at it this way. Supposing in occupied France, there's this nunnery. <laughs> and one day the chief nun calls all the other nuns round and she says, Now listen, girls. <laughs> Let us escape to dear old England. So they all creep out and they, they get hold of an aeroplane and they fly and fly and fly. And when these flying nuns have got to England, they're not quite cognizant with landing methods. And so they all jump out in parachutes. <laughs> I think you're getting into the realms of fantasy here. <laughs> well, it's a possibility, sir. It's a possibility. Well, it? it's a million to one chance. I suppose we've got to take every precaution. Well, it's really all quite simple, you see. When they come floating down, you see, the turbulence of the air will cause their habits to rise. <laughs> so, therefore, you'll be able to see their legs and so that you can tell if it's a real nun or not. <laughs> yeah. That's a very good point, Wilson. Thank you. Very good. You must look at their legs. <laughs> Sir, I don't think I'd care to look at a nun's legs. It would be, be very impolite. You just have to force yourself, Godfrey. This is wrong. Nunnerine? Yeah. Afraid I don't know what real nun's legs look like. I've never seen them. <laughs> Come to that, I don't think anybody has. <laughs> Harians! What did you say, Fraser? <laughs> the air the Nazis, the little horrible hairy legs with jack boots on. <laughs> what do we do if they're real nuns with horrible hairy legs and jack boots on? Oh, all right, all right, that'll be awesome. <laughs> now, the fact that a Nazi parachuter was floating down with his hands up would not necessarily mean that he was surrendering. He could be concealing a grenade in each hand. So watch out. Watch for that. Answer the telephone, Pike Room. Yes, Mr. Benry. And talk about grenades. Have you primed our stock of Mills bombs? Oh, no, 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 no. Well, why not? I told you to. Well, it's awfully dangerous, sir. War is awfully dangerous, Wilson. Yeah. What would you do if a horde of Nazi parachutists were suddenly to descend upon this hall? Say, would you mind waiting a minute while we prime the hand grenades? <laughs> now, are those bombs ready for use tonight? Right, sir. Mr. Manning? Yes. You want it on the telephone? GHQ say it's very important. Of course. Yeah. Take charge, Wilson. Yes, sir. Yes. <clears throat> Get out of the way, boy. <laughs> Shut the door, Pike. Yes, sir. From the other side. <laughs> get out. For the sake, get out. <laughs> Good evening, sir. Uh, good evening, Mattering. I've got a very important job for you. Oh, excellent. What is it? I've just had a message from the police. A fishing boat has picked up a U-boat captain and seven members of the crew. They're down in the harbour now, locked in the ship's hold. Ah, Joe, this is good news, sir. Now, I want you to pick them up and take them to the church hall. I'll send an armed escort over to collect them later. Right. Very good, sir. Yes, we do that. Face to face with the enemy at last, eh? Leave this to us, sir. I don't think you'll get much trouble from them. Uh, they've been drifting in the sea for two days in a rubber dinghy. Uh, good luck. Thank you, sir. Good news, men. 
After all these months, we're at last to be given a chance to get to grips with the enemy. Blimey, don't tell me we're going to invade France. <laughs> You're not going to do anything too hasty, are you? I have something very important to say to the men. Did you find out what a nun's legs look no, like? No, no, no. Talisman. A fishing vessel has picked up the commander and crew of a U-boat, and we're going down to the harbour to collect them. All right, oh. Fitz Bennett! Come on, now. No, no, no. I can't wait to get at him, sir. I can't never, wait to get at him. Never Adam, mind sir. that, Jones. There's plenty of time for that when you get down there. I can't help it, sir. I can't help it. As soon as I get a whiff of action, sir, I just reach for my bed. It's in my nature, sir. That's all. It's in my nature. Yeah, That's I'll, all. I'll fall the men in outside. Yes, right, sir. The collect the U-boat crew, fall in outside. Rifles and bandage, hat at the ball. Come on now, come on now. Yes, sir. Come right, on, sir. Mike. Sir. Sir. One minute away, I want you to prime those hand grenades. If you insist, sir. I do, and I want them ready for when I get back. All yes. right, sir. All right, come along to this camp, get to it. Whistle while you work. All right, right you guys! It's a showdown. Share this pineapple between you. For heaven's sake, Frank, put that thing down. <laughs> <laughs> do call them pineapples, those Chicago gangsters. Though. I saw it in that film. <laughs> Scarface, Paul Mooney. I don't care what they're called. They're very, very dangerous. These aren't. Look, yes. they haven't got any detonators. Yes, lovely. You can see right no, through. No, no, no. <laughs> Shall I get them? No, stay where you are, Frank, please. I'll get the detonators. This is very, very dangerous, this. Won't be tricky. Now. Oh, no. There are only two in that one. Look, there's another box in the back. Let me... Just, just stand back and don't touch it. <laughs> Dummy primers for training purposes only. Dummy detonators aren't any good, are they? Got to be the real thing. Look, did no, that no, just, just, just a minute, just a minute. Just a minute. <laughs> How would it be if we put these dummies into the grenades instead of the real thing? Mr. Mannering said they got to be ready for instant use. What if the Germans came along? Yes, but we could soon change them round if it only take a minute. I mean, but, uh, we could get it done before the bells stopped ringing. Well, I'll be cross if he finds out. Well, I can't have a feeling he'd be a lot crosser if we all get blown up. Now, come on, let's do that now. Dummies. Come on. Whistle while you work. Put on that grin and start right in to whistle loud and long. Just how the very Hey, Royce, hey, Royce, hey, Royce, Royce. Handy hop, handy hop, handy hop, hop, handy hop. All right, they can put their hands down now, Jones. Right, handy down, handy down, handy down. Nick's hop, Nick's hop. What do you mean? Nick's hop. What do you He's doing? still hocking. Never mind that. All right. <laughs> now, Fraser. Sir? Get the Lewis gun, set it up on the stage where you've got a clear sweep for the entire hall. I'll do that. Punch. Sir? Hancock. Give me a step ladder, will you? Right on, Mr. Manning. Corporal Jones? I should. Get these prisoners into a tight huddle in the middle of the hall. Right. In the huddle, at the double, in a small group, the centre of the hall. Come along now. Come along now. I'm hoping right. right. that you got back all right. Did they give you any trouble? No, not really. An ugly mob, though. Yeah. See this captain here? Oh, yeah. He's a surly brute. Watch him. He's done nothing but sneer and smoke cigarettes. Well, that reminds me, sir. I... I wonder if he's got any left. I seem to have run out. <laughs> this isn't a cocktail party, Wilson. <laughs> Have you primed those grenades? Oh, well, sir, you see, what I think I can honestly say, sir, that all the grenades now have detonators in them. Good. Get the Tommy gun, Pike. The Tommy, Tommy gun. gun. Thank you, yes. <laughs> now, look, yes. there's an armed escort picking this lot up. Yeah. And in the meantime, I want maximum security. You understand? Maximum security. All right, sir. Maximum security, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Here you are, sir. All loaded and ready. Right, set it up. All right. <laughs> Commissioner Mr. Speaker. Yes. Why don't we chop off their trouser buttons? What? <laughs> if we chop off their trouser buttons and they try to run away, that will show something unusual. <laughs> and then if there should be some person nonchalantly walking down the street, and they see, they see the men with all their trousers around their legs, they will make some inquiries. <laughs> you! Well. You don't dare to do anything of the sort. The Geneva Convention states clearly, the prisoners of war shall not be put in humiliating positions. You'll be in humiliating position if you get this up here, mate. Yes. <laughs> Don't threaten me, you silly old fool. You. Not savages. You get back in your place and speak when you're spoken. That's right, get back in the auto. I'm warning you, Captain. Just do as you're told. <laughs> <laughs> you 
see the sort of <laughs> school girls shrine up again. <laughs> Quite agree, sir, yes, sir. I must admit he has rather an abrupt matter, manner, but we must make allowances for him, sir, you see. He's probably a little bit upset because he sank his submarine. <laughs> Where do you want this, Mr. Mannering? Here you are, set it up here. Here, Mr. Sponge, give me a hand. Right, thank you. There we go. Right, Pike, get on top of the atomic up. We've got a clear view of the entire hall. Up you go. You know I can't go up ladders over my vertigo. You know I'm wobbly. You know I've got a doctor's nose. Will you right, get up there? <laughs> Godfrey, where's Godfrey? Godfrey! <laughs> Did someone call? <laughs> I'm terribly sorry, sir. I, I, I must have dozed off. Dozed off? <laughs> We're guarding a dangerous bunch of cutthroats, and you doze off. I want you to watch them like a hawk, you understand? Like a hawk! Hold this ladder. <laughs> Take charge, will you, Wilson? All right, sir. Nice. Mannering here. Uh, HQ here. Everything all right, Mannering? Yes, yes, all safe and sound. Just waiting for you to pick them up, sir. Ah. Well, I'm afraid the escort won't be able to get over there until tomorrow. You mean you want us to keep them all night? Sorry, there's nothing I can do about it. Just give them a blanket each and bed them down. Oh, and give them something to eat, of course. I'm afraid we've only got our own sandwiches, Colonel. <laughs> well, send out for some fish and chips. Send out? I'll see you get the money back. I'll be over about eight in the morning. Cheerio. Goodbye. <laughs> fish and chips. <laughs> Wilson. Yes, sir. Come here. Right. Jones. Yes, sir. Hi, Jones. Conference here. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> the armed escort can't get here before morning, so we've got to keep these chaps all night. Well, in that case, we really better chop their buttons off. No. <laughs> Put that thing away. Now, I'm going to have a word with these prisoners. You Wilson. can't speak any German, can you, sir? They'll know by the tone of my voice that I'm in charge. <laughs> <laughs> they recognize authority when they see it. Yeah. You better come with me. Yes, of course. Now, Pepin! Oh, I say they're awfully well disciplined, aren't they, sir? Nothing of the sort. Just slavish, blind obedience. <laughs> not, like the, not like the cheerful discipline of our own jolly Jack, Jack Tars. <clears throat> I tell you, Wilson, they're a nation of automatons, led by a lunatic who looks like Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> How dare you compare our glorious leader with that non-Aryan clown? Oh, I oh, am Captain, making you notes, Captain. And your name will go on the list. <laughs> and when we win the war, you will be brought to account. You write what you like. You're not going to win this war. Oh, yes, we are. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, yes, we are. <laughs> Whistle while you work. <laughs> Hitler is a twerk. He's half army, so's his army. Whistle while you work. Your name will also go on the list. <laughs> what is it? Don't tell him, Pike. Pike. <laughs> Pike. <laughs> You tell your men that they've got to stay here for the night and they better behave themselves. Now, get on with it. Uncle Arthur. Yes? Well, what is it, Frank? Well, it's not fair my what? name going on the list. I was only joking. You really must try and be more careful. You must realise by now that the Germans have absolutely no sense of humour. Well, he said much worse things well, about Hitler. He said right, much worse things about Hitler than that. Thank you. Yeah. Look, do you, do you think hmm? if you had a nice word with him, he'd yes, take my right. name off? I'll have a nice word. Go <laughs> then. Go on. Right. Right. Um, Wenn ich so tue, als ob ich Magenschmerzen habe, sollt ihr alle aufpassen, aufmerksam sein. Verstanden? Ja, yeah. 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 Captain. Should we tell them what I said? Ja. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Come here. <laughs> the fish and chip shop still open? <laughs> Yeah, I think so. Why? Here's ten shillings. Go and buy some for the prisoners. Oh, right. Right. Now then. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Eight cotton chips. I want the place. <laughs> right. It's one place and chips. Seven cotton chips. Right. Who wants vinegar? Also, aufpassen. Wie viel von euch wollen Essig? 
One, two, three, four of vinegar. <laughs> Who wants salt? So bitte mal aufpassen, wie viele von euch wollen Salz? You want two, three for salt? <laughs> Who don't want salt or vinegar? Also zum dritten Mal, wie viele ohne Salz oder Essig? That's two without salt or vinegar. Here, come on, here, just, just see if I've got this right. Uh, now, you want placing chips. Mm. They're going to have cotton chips, and that's uh, four with vinegar, three with salt, and two without salt or Whoa, vinegar. What, 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 what are you doing? <laughs> I'm taking the order. <laughs> and I don't want any nasty, soggy chips. <laughs> I want mine crisp. <laughs> und light brown. Crisp und Never light mind brown. Never mind that. If I say you'll eat soggy chips, you'll eat soggy chips. <laughs> soggy <laughs> chips. So best beware where you lie. One o'clock in the morning. God. You think he'd give us the chance to have a wee bit turn at having a sleep? No, it's no good, Taffy. Won't let us take our eyes off him. Yeah. He's obsessed. Yes. Sir, uh, do you think I could possibly be excused? <laughs> Certainly not. Stay to post. You hang on to this lad, Mr. Godfrey. Well, don't keep staring at me. Look in some other direction. And put that down. You're supposed to be watching the prisoners. Oh, I'm so sorry. Don't be a <laughs> Keep them well covered, Jen. I'm watching him, sir. <clears throat> Captain Mannering, that sir. fellow does keep his eye on you every single minute. You know, I've got a kind of a notion that he doesn't like you very much. <laughs> I wouldn't like to be your, in your shoes, Captain Mannering, if he turned the tables on us. There's very little chance of that, Walker. Well, I've had a good night, Mr. Gateman. Book three houses for showing lights and shared a bottle of ale with you. Oh, by the way, Mr. Rogers, not a word to his reverence that I keep a bottle in my idea. Oh, you can rely on me. I'm the soul of discretion. Mum's the word. Well, we better say goodnight to Napoleon. Good night, Napoleon. <laughs> Love, what's all this? The German prisoners of war. Keep away from them. You've no right to keep Germans in the parish hall. The vicar, <laughs> the vicar will be furious. You mind your own business. <laughs> oh, oh, What's the matter with you, mate? I, I, I feel so ill. It is my stomach. Oh, oh, oh. Here. Oh. Give us a hand, Virgil. Oh. Keep oh. away from him. Oh. What are you talking about? He's sick, can't you see? Oh. He, he does look bad. Oh. I expected there was those soggy chips you made him eat. Oh. <laughs> Maybe you ought to do something, sir. I don't trust him. Well, you can't just leave him lying there. Of course you can't. He's some mother's son, you know, Mannerin. He's got an artist tone, you know, Mr. Rogers. Sir, I got some bicarbonate and soda here in my first aid bag. <laughs> Would that help? Uh, stay where you are, Godfrey. You keep hold of this ladder. Jones, <laughs> uh, yes, keep him well covered. Watch him like a hawk. Like a hawk, you understand? Yes, sir, I'm completely cocked. Mike, <laughs> right, do the same. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm going in. Uh. <laughs> Something very funny here. Lord, what are you afraid of? There are only a few harmless German sailors. His breathing's all right. How's the pulse? Uh, uh. Ah. Ah. No one is moving. Also, das Maschinengewehr, los, schnell! Get back! You're not getting this. Get back! Hancock's Punch and Desmond are posted outside, sir. They're covering the back door and the office window. Stupid, drunken fool, Hodges. Yeah. I didn't let them have the gun, did I? Did I, sir? No, you behaved very well, John. Yes. <laughs> I haven't felt like this since I was in the trenches in 1916. <laughs> I did do well, didn't I, Mr. Wilson? Didn't I do well? Yes, you did, uh, Dr. Josie. All too well. <laughs> yes. And you behaved well as well. You kept cool, you did. You yeah. kept cool. Did you? You thought so, did you? Very cool, was I? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. When you mutual admiration society are quite finished, maybe you'll tell us just what we're going to do now, Captain Mannering. 
He's really right. I mean, we can't hang about like this all night. But they've got one revolver between them. They can't get out of the office. We're holding all the trump cards. You see? <laughs> all right, Virgil. Do they want to surrender? No, I've got a message from the captain. He says he wants you to take him and his men back to the fishing boat so that they can cross to France. Wants what? And if you don't agree to his terms, he's, he's going to blow Mr. Roger's head off. Mr. Menon, if you let him escape back to France, they'll get another submarine and start sinking British ships again. I'm afraid Jones is absolutely right, sir. It's oh. one man's life against thousands. A terrible decision. You've got to take Captain Mannering. <laughs> but you must admit, you, you never liked the man. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him we want time to think it over. Right. <laughs> Well? He's thinking it over. Tell him I give him until dawn. Well, what did Mannering say? I must admit it, Mr. Rogers. It doesn't look too good for you. <laughs> <laughs> My God! If only we could get that gun away from him. Permission to speak, sir? Yeah. Supposing I dress up in some old clothes and I black my face and I knock on the door and say, I'm a chimney sweep. <laughs> and I see Mr. Hodges there and I say, hello, Fritz. And they'll say, why do you call him Fritz? And I say, because he isn't British, he's really a German prisoner of war and he's only an air raid warden in his spare time. Oh. <laughs> really? oh. I, I saw that film, um, Petrified Forest, oh. you know, with, with Leslie Howard and Humphrey Bogart. Well, in that, Humphrey Bogart had got Leslie Howard prisoner, you see, and he, he was holding him prisoner in a cabin overnight by gunpoint. Now, Leslie Howard kept on quoting poetry at him and using long words and sneering at him and he got him all annoyed, you see, Leslie Howard did. <laughs> you could do that. I missed that film, uh, Frank. What actually happened to Leslie Howard? He got shot. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid boy. I saw Freddie Bartholomew in David Copperfield. <laughs> uh, there was nothing in that. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard such a drivel in my life. <laughs> David Cop. Wait a minute. Mr. McCorber. Something's bound to turn up. Look, we'll go along with this game of theirs. We're going to march right through the town, right down to the harbour, and during that time, somebody's bound to give an alarm. We'll agree to your terms. Even if they get to the boat, the Navy will blow them out of the water before they've gone a mile. I'm glad you came to your senses, Captain. As of this machine gave your loss on Havart. Put down your rifles. Do as he says. Get me a hand grenade and a piece of string. See to that, Wilson. All right, sir. As of the gear at Laden on the bayonet, out name. You won't get away with this. Somebody will spot you going through the town. No one will interfere, Captain, because you will be escorting us through the streets with empty rifles. How do you propose to make us do that? Very simply, Nims. Is it primed? Yes. Then yes. you don't mind if I make sure, huh? By all means. Good. You old man, you take off your belt and undo the back of your tunic. I beg your pardon. You, <laughs> as I tell you, remove your belt. And just to make sure, Captain, that your behavior is correct, this old man will march in front of me. <laughs> and one False move from you, and I pull the string. <laughs> oh, don't make any false moves, Mr. Manrin. <laughs> and don't make any real ones either. <laughs> Ten seconds will be enough for me to get clear, but I don't think it is enough time for the old man to unbutton his tunic. A terrible way to die. <laughs> you unspeakable swine. <laughs> Now, okay, I'm the commanding officer of this unit, and as such, I reserve the right to have that bomb in my, in my waistband. No, sir, I cannot let them allow to put a, a bomb down your trousers, sir. They can put 20 bombs down my trousers, and they will not make me crack. <laughs> <laughs> you can't win this war. See the sort of men that this country breeds? Rise the stupid ones. <laughs> All very well to snare, but you've forgotten one thing, Captain. Oh, yes? What's that? The Royal Navy. You've got 25 miles of water to cross. 
You won't make it. Oh, yes, we will, because you will all be in the boat with us. Oh. We will leave that man behind to tell them the Royal Navy will not shoot on their own people. When we arrive in France, you will be my prisoners. And then we shall examine the list. <laughs> Yeah? If I tell the German it's a dummy detonator in the grenade, do you think he'll take me off his list? Do be quiet, Frank. Lord, sir, look, there's a colonel. The game's up. What are you going to do now? I am not going to do anything. You will bluff your way out. I refuse to cooperate in any way whatsoever. He won't go through with it, Jones. Please, Mr. Manning, if you don't do as he says, He'll pull the string. Oh, no, he won't. Oh, yes, I will. <laughs> <laughs> he says he will, Mr. Mandarin. <laughs> but, uh, Where on earth are you taking the prisoners, Mandarin? Yeah, well, you see, sir, I... I well, Captain I, I, Mandarin I, thought they ought to go for a walk, sir. You know, get a bit of fresh air. Uh, you know, they've been cooked up in a submarine, but when he's... But what's the matter with you, man? Why does a sheet? It was a bit seen a ghost. A breath of fresh air will do a power of good, sir. You take them down to the harbour. They say there's like a sea breeze. Yes, yes. Well, all right. I'm going up to the railway station to pick up the escort for the prisoners. I'll see you later. Yes, sir. Uh, Soon. By the lip. I'm surprised at you, Manry. Your men are always so smartly turned out. Why isn't Corporal Jones wearing his equipment? And what's this great lump of string hanging down his Where's back? Where's <laughs> that? <laughs> <laughs> What the hell's going on? I'm saying that, sir. Now, listen to me, you German fellows. Would you mind getting up against the wall and putting your hands up, please? Go on. Go on. Do it again. There's the fellows. Hey, Jones. Jones. Jones, that should have gone off by now. That should have gone off by now. So it should. I've been saved. I've been saved. Oh. I thought I told you to prime those grenades. Oh, I did, sir. With dummies. Why is it you could never do anything that you're... <laughs> you saved Jones's life. Well, now perhaps you'll agree with me, sir. It's very dangerous to keep them primed. Excuse me, sir. Now that the crisis is past, do you mind asking Fraser to take his hand out of my trousers? <laughs> <laughs> 